Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So find V not T in the circuit shown assuming zero initial conditions. So this is the circuit given here and uh, uh, this the circuit is given in the time domain and uh, uh, the initial conditions are zero for example the initial voltage across the capacitor is zero and the initial current flowing through the inductor is zero. So if we need to transform this circuit in the S domain, so the transform transformation will be simple because uh, the capacitor will remain the simple capacitor without any additional uh, 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 voltage across it and the inductor will also remain the simple inductor without any additional current source um, uh, uh, along with it. So uh, let us also try to find out uh, what if we try to find uh, solve the circuit in the time domain. So for example if we assume this uh, current here I1 and this current here I2 and what will the equations look like in the time domain we try to solve the circuit uh, in that way. So for the time domain uh, the voltage and current relationship for the resistor is simple that is V is equal to R multiplied by I right but for the inductor V is equal to L di by dt and for the capacitor I is equal to C dV by dt and uh, for the resistor I is equal to V over R and the current for the case of the inductor is 1 over L right and uh, uh, V dt here and uh, for the capacitor the voltage is 1 over C I dt. So let us uh, write down the equation for the case of uh, um, uh, for the first loop. So this is minus U of t right and then this one is simple I1 multiplied by 1 so this is I1 and then for this uh, capacitor the voltage will be the uh, the integral this integral right and I here will be replaced by, will be replaced by I1 minus I, I2 so 1 over C so 1 over C is uh, 1 over 1 over 3 so that will be 3 and the integral will be I1 minus I2 dt and that is equal to 0 right so that is uh, the equation for the first loop and for the second loop uh, the equation will be uh, uh, 5 I2 then the voltage across this inductor for example so that will be uh, L d I2 by dt and again the voltage across this capacitor that will be 3 now I2 minus I1 dt is equal to 0. So these are two integral differential equations that uh, that we have to solve uh, if we want to solve the circuit in the time domain, right? So uh, you can see uh, this will be the second order uh, equations. We need to differentiate this to uh, resolve this integral. We have to differentiate this to resolve this integral. So uh, the basically solution of these integral differential equations, simultaneous solutions difficult. So that is why, that is the reason that we transform the circuit from the time domain to the S domain using the Laplace transform. And note there, uh, here, that uh, this U of T is a step voltage. So we use S domain solution. We transform the circuit in the S domain, then solve it using the algebraic method. So these uh, calculus equations, these integral differential equations, these operations are reduced to simple algebraic operations when we transform the circuit in the S domain, in the frequency domain. So this U of T, uh, the Laplace transform of the U of T is uh, 1 over S if we want to transform this to the S domain. And uh, this is this voltage here like this, step voltage. For example, this is uh, U of T and this is T. So uh, this is 0 for T less than 0 and then here it becomes 1. 
so at time one at time zero we apply a unit voltage voltage with uh, amplitude one a, a constant dc voltage one here right so another way to look at this is that the, the switch is closed at time t zero and uh, we apply one volt uh, at that time uh, across this circuit and when we apply this voltage the initial conditions uh, for the capacitor and the inductor are zero so the laplace transform of e of t is 1 over s and uh, uh, the, uh, the the this capacitor uh, will be represented by this is 1 over 3f so this is 1 over s c in the s domain so 1 over s c is 1 over 3 so that will be 3 over s right and similarly the inductor is a 1 henry so 1 henry inductor is sl so that is simply uh, l is 1 so that is simply s right so the circuit in the s domain this becomes like this let's call this v naught s this is uh, 3 over s this is 5 ohm this is 1 ohm this is 1 over s right and this is simply s this is simply s as we have found out and let's now apply the mesh analysis again now this is i1 we represent i1 and i2 with capital letters because we are using frequency domain analysis and in the frequency domain we represent these variables using capital letters and in the time domain we represent these variables using small case letters so let's call this figure 2 so mesh 1 so this is uh, minus 1 over s plus i1 multiplied by 1 so this is i1 plus 3 over s into i1 minus i2 and that is equal to 0 so multiplying throughout with s so this is uh, minus 1 plus s i1 plus 3 i1 minus 3 i2 is equal to 0 so that is s plus 3 into i1 s plus 3 into i1 and uh, plus sorry minus 3 i2 minus 3 i2 is equal to 1 so that is our equation number one now for the mesh two this is mesh one and this is mesh two so here three over s i2 minus i1 plus 5 i2 plus s i2 is equal to 0 s i2 is equal to 0 so uh, we multiply throughout with s so that is 3 i2 minus i1 plus 5 s i2 plus s square i2 is equal to 0 right so that will be 3 i2 minus 3 i1 i2 minus i1 plus 5 s i2 plus s square i2 is equal to 0 so that should be minus 3 i1 plus uh, s square plus 5 s plus 3 i2 is equal to 0 so that is our equation number 2 and from equation 1 
we can find out the value of uh, I1. So from equation 1, S plus 3 I1 is equal to 3 I2 plus 1. Note that the these are simple algebraic arithmetic operations, algebraic operations, uh, rather than these uh, differential equation operations or the calculus operations. So the 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 transformation from the time domain to the frequency domain in the S domain has helped in uh, simplifying the uh, process of the solution. So I1 is equal to 3I2 plus 1 divided by S plus 3. So let me call this equation number 3. So using this value in equation 2, uh, using 3 in 2. So this was 2 here. Let me rewrite minus 3i1 plus s square plus 5s plus 3 into i2 is equal to 0 and uh, we are substituting i1 here so i1 is 3i2 plus 1 over s plus 3 plus s square plus 5s plus 3 i2 is equal to 0 right and this is multiplied by i1 right and minus 3 sorry this is multiplied by minus 3 minus 3 minus 3 and this is i1 and this is s square plus 5s plus 3 i2 is equal to 0 So multiplying throughout with uh, S plus 3, so this will uh, give us minus 3 into 3 I2 plus 1 plus S plus 3 into S square plus 5 S plus 3 I2 is equal to 0. So that should be minus 9 I2 and minus 3 right plus uh, s cube we first multiply uh, s with this entire equation then we multiply 3 with this entire equation so s cube plus 5 s square plus 3 s and we have to multiply this whole expression with i2 also so 3 s plus uh, uh, now uh, 3s square plus uh, 5, uh, 5 into 3, 15s and uh, plus 9, plus 9 and i2 is equal to 0. So that will be minus 9 i2 minus 3 plus s cube. This is 5s square plus 3s square. So that is 8s square so 3s plus 15s that is 18s and plus 9 9 and this is i2 is equal to 0 so uh, and we have a i2 term here also so that is uh, uh, minus 3 and plus s cube plus 8s square plus 18s plus 9 and this minus 9 i2 is equal to 0 so this cancels out so we have i2 is equal to 3 so divided by s cube plus 8 square plus 18s so uh, now this is the expression for I2 and we needed to find out uh, V naught so V naught will be uh, SL 
i2 right so we do not need to find out uh, uh, i1 we need to find only v0 right we do not need to find i1 we just need to find i2 and then we multiply the impedance this s with i2 uh, uh, in the frequency domain to arrive at uh, the expression for v0 in the s domain and then we will find out the inverse laplace transform to find the value of v0 uh, in the time domain so this is i2 and uh, then v0 of s is equal to s i2 right so this is s i2 right because the impedance of the inductor in the s domain is s so this is 1 henry so s l is simply s so s multiplied by i2 s l i2 is reduced to s i2 so this is multiplied with s so this is 3 s divided by so s is common here s is here plus 8s plus 18 right so v naught of s is equal to this cancels out this is 3 divided by s square plus 8s plus 18 so this is the expression for the voltage v naught in the frequency domain we need to find the corresponding uh, term in the time domain for this we need to take the inverse laplace term transform for this term so uh, by completion of square v not s is equal to 3 divided by so this is s square that is and plus 2 multiplied by 4 uh, s right and multiplied by and if you want to be a complete square so this should be 16 here the square of 4 4 square right 16 but we have term 18 here so that leaves us with 2 here so v naught s is equal to 3 divided by s plus 4 square and we can also write this in terms of square for example square root of 2 square now we know that um, if we have this uh, under root 2 here so this will be the in, uh, Laplace transform for e raised power minus 80 sin omega t right that term so uh, let me rewrite it this way so this is uh, we multiply it and divide it by square root of 2 and uh, this 3 is 3 and we divide it by uh, square root of 2 and we multiply it with square root of 2 so that will be s plus 4 square plus square root of 2 square so if you see that this term is in the form of this the laplace transform of e raised power minus 80 sin omega t is given by omega over s plus e square plus omega square so omega is uh, um, square root of 2 here and a is 4 here right a is 4 so the term v naught t in the time domain is equal to uh, this 3 over square root of 2 is a constant so that will be now e raised power minus 40 and the value of omega is a square root of 2 under root 2 t right and for t greater than or equal to 0 uh, we can simply say that v naught t is equal to 3 divided by square root 3 e raised power minus 40 and to emphasize this is uh, for t greater than or equal to 0 we can simply write like this u of t here so this is the the value of the v v0 t in the time domain which we have found out by first transforming the circuit in the frequency domain and then again uh, when the answer is found in the frequency domain we uh, use inverse laplace transform to transform the answer from the frequency domain to the uh, time domain and uh, during this process the uh, the entire uh, process is very simple using algebraic manipulations otherwise if we uh, want to proceed in the time domain we have to solve these two integral differential, integral differential equations 
in the time domain which is quite a complicated and difficult process that complicated and difficult process reduced to simple algebraic manipulations in the frequency domain when we transform the circuit uh, using the Laplace transform.